Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Stephanie and today we're going to continue with our practice set evaluating expressions. So let's get started. So our first problem asks us to evaluate um, 9 plus p when p is equal to 21. So what do you recall from the section that we learned um, substitution and where we learned about variables? Well, we're going to substitute 21 wherever we see p. So 9 plus 21, we perform our operation, and this is 30. OK, simple enough. Let's go ahead and move on to the next problem. In this expression, we have 4 times n when n is equal to 5, and we are asked to evaluate. So again, we're going to substitute 5 for n we're going to carry out our operation, which is 20, which is multiplication. 4 times 5 is 20, OK? Now we move on to the next problem. For this expression, we have 12 minus y, when y is equal to 3. So we are going to substitute 3 for y, carry out our operation, which is subtraction. So 12 minus 3 is 9. OK, so hopefully you're getting some practice out of out of this. This is fairly simple and straightforward. For this expression, we have 3 minus h when h is equal to 1. So again, we're going to substitute 1 for h, carry out our operation, which is subtraction, 3 minus 1 is 2. OK? If you have any questions about why are we substituting, um, what is a variable, what is a variable expression, go ahead and check out the lecture 1.1 Variables in Algebra so you can get all caught up with our uh, definitions. OK? So we're going to move on to this one. It says evaluate the expression of 18 divided by c when c is equal to 2. Again, we're going to substitute c is equal to 2 wherever we see c. So we have 18 divided by 2. We perform our division, and this should be 9. Moving on, we have this expression, 8 times s, when s is equal to 9. So what we're going to do is substitute 9 wherever we see s. And remember to use your parentheses, or you can write it like this. Either way is fine. 8 times 9 is 72, and here too just a different way that you can write multiplication. Either one is correct, OK? For this expression, we have 11 plus k. And we're told that k is equal to 2. So we're going to evaluate when k is equal to 2. So we're going to substitute 2 wherever we see k. We carry out the addition, so that will be 13. For this expression, we have 64 divided by b, and we're asked to evaluate when b is equal to 8. So we will substitute 8 wherever we see b. So 64 divided by 8. We perform our division, and this will be Eight. Hopefully all of this is making sense. And for this expression, we have 1 fourth plus m, and we're asked to evaluate when m is equal to 2. So I'm going to let you attempt this one on your own. Pause the video, and we'll come back and work on it together. 
Okay, hopefully you've gotten um, an answer. Uh, so let's go ahead and try it. So we have one fourth plus m, and we're, we're asked to evaluate when m is equal to two. So wherever we see m, we are going to write two. Now, what do we do here? If you recall, in order for us to add these two things, we need to have a common denominator. So how do we get a common denominator? Well, if you recall, when we have numbers like two, we can actually express this as a fraction, It'd be two over one. And this can help us um, so that we can get a common denominator. Or you can just straight away multiply this top and bottom with four. So either way, you still need to know that this is another way to express this, okay? So our common denominator here is gonna be four. So I'm gonna go one fourth, or actually I'll write it up here, two over one. And what I'll do is I'll multiply top and bottom up here to conserve space. So I'm gonna top, I'm gonna multiply the top and I'm gonna multiply the bottom. Then I'll write down here one fourth plus eight over four. Now we can add these two fractions, we're happy. And our answer would be, we would uh, multiply the numerator. So one plus eight, that would be nine. And we would carry our denominator and that's four. So this would be our answer for this. Hopefully you got that. Um, if you have any questions, um, I'll be happy to answer them. And that is the end of our practice set for algebra and variables. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I thank you so much for your attention and time. Next time we will continue and we will work on a practice set about finding distance um, with a special emphasis on variable expression and using the distance equals to rate times time. Um, and I hope that you can join us for that. Otherwise, that's it for today and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day.